Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going to explain to you how you can become a cybersecurity engineer without going to college. Raise your arm! This is going to be a little bit of a controversial uh, topic for me because I usually tell people to go to college. Um, however, a lot of people have been asking how can I become an expert without going to college and this video is for you. So you're in high school I assume and you're looking to get into cybersecurity and you're thinking oh, I don't have enough time or money maybe or um, maybe college just isn't for you and you, you don't want to go to college for whatever reason it is and you want to get into cybersecurity. I have seen lately a lot of people saying that you don't really need a degree uh, to get into cybersec. You can just sort of get the certs that you require to be able to do the job and then sort of work your way upwards from there, um, which does seem to be true. Um, keep in mind that most government agencies won't employ you without a degree. So just take all of all of the government out um, and also a specific set of certifications so the certifications I'm going to recommend are pretty broad across the world um, some private industry places do require for certain positions for you to have a certain um, like specialist certification however I'll, I'll let you do the research on that yourself so to get a job in CyberSec without going to college, the first thing you're going to want to do is to start off with a CompTIA A+. And I know a lot of people say the A+, is a waste of time. However, I need to be a little bit broad here um, with the audience and I'm going to assume that you're coming out of high school and you don't know a huge amount about computers. So the A plus is a very entry level certification to acquire. Um, it's not expensive. It doesn't take long to study for. It's it's sort of like the the start. It's the beginning, and it's it's a good place to start at. And CompTIA's uh, courses and certifications are pretty cool. After you've finished the A plus, the next one you're going to want to do is a CompTIA Security plus. All of these certifications I'm going through are not, they're not all CompTIA, they're a range of different ones. So bear with me while we go through the whole lot. Um, but anyway, the Security Plus is going to give you a broad overview of everything in cybersecurity um, that you're going to need to know going forward anyway, and you're going to actually use these practices and techniques in the job itself. Um, they, it's a globally recognized certification um, in the government they really like looking at it in private industry they they sort of like it as a base certification to have but they're not going to give you a job just with those two certifications the next one which is probably the most important certification you can get is the Cisco CCNA 2020 version um, it comes out in December this year or January in some places next year and it's all about everything networking and I can't stress enough how important networking is to getting a job in cybersecurity and actually understanding what you're doing. I don't want to sort of be rude or, or harsh to people who don't have a CCNA but the ones who do tend to go much further in their career and actually know what they're talking about. Um, and that's that's just based off experience. I manage a SOC team and I know the guys before they've even told me if they have the certification or not because just talking to them about networking, um, you, you can just tell. You can tell straight away if you've done a CCNA or not. The CCNA 2020 version is looking awesome. It has a whole bunch of um, CyberSec uh, components to the certification and the coursework. Um, a lot of stuff in there about their firewall systems, which is useful to have later on. And yeah, it's just an all-round great certification to have. Uh, the CCNA, is, it's always look good on resumes. It's globally recognized and it's, it's just the absolute duck's nuts of certifications. So definitely get a CCNA 2020. 
Next certification that you should definitely have if you don't want to go to college is the Comp TIA Linux Plus. Now I recommend this certification just because it's an overall uh, understanding certification of Linux, obviously. And uh, a lot of cybersecurity systems are built using Linux and understanding uh, sort of Linux administration at this sort of basic level is really going to put you ahead of uh, the people who don't study it essentially. And a lot of people will sort of have more of a networking side gone down the CCNA, CCMP route, which is fine. But then there's the other guys who have a more sysadmin background going into cybersecurity. If you can have a little bit of both, so the CCNA and the CompTIA Linux Plus, you're going to absolutely smash it. You've got a two side approach here, networking, systems administration, Linux, you know, all that networking and security stuff, you're well poised to get a job, right? However, there is one more certification that I'm going to recommend, which is to study some sort of uh, Python programming course. And it doesn't really matter which one you do. I usually say to go to Udemy and do that one because it is the cheapest. But you don't need to do the, the Python learning through Udemy. You can just watch other YouTube videos and learn how to do Python scripting. Um, just get an understanding of Python. The best way to do this is to use your knowledge of the Linux Plus, set up a Linux system yourself, and create some automated tasks using Python. It's the best way to learn uh, by actually doing, and that's, that's sort of how I learned most of Python, although I did use it in uni as well. But yeah, that's, that's sort of the way to go. So I'll go over them all again. The A plus to get started. We'll start with that one down here. Then we've got the CompTIA Security Plus, the Comp, uh, CompTIA Linux Plus, the CCNA 2020 version, we'll just put that somewhere in the middle, and then learn some Python. If you have all of those certifications and experience going into a job, they won't even ask about uni. And when you go for an interview, you're going to have to sort of lead them away from the uh, college or university questions by taking control of the conversation. So if they say, oh, we see here you haven't gone to college or whatever it is, you say, no, I haven't, but I've, ex I've you know, gone through all of these certifications. I've done the CompTIA, I've done this CompTIA, I've done a CCNA, I've got experience in Python, here's a certification, boom. It's basically the same as what you would get out of university, except you learnt it yourself at your own pace. And um, you need to sort of explain it to them that uh, it wasn't an option for you to go to university. And a lot of employers will understand that. They'll know straight off the bat that maybe university just wasn't for you. They, they all grew up at the same time as I did. And a lot of people just couldn't afford university um, or college or whatever you want to call it. And they just, you know, nowadays it's people just don't want to go there for whatever reason. Um, usually not money related. They just can't be bothered. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's sort of the way the world's going. So. That's my recommendation to you all on how to get a job in cybersecurity without going to college. Let me know what you think um, in the comments below. If I've missed any certifications that you think are really important, um, definitely comment them below so that other people coming to watch this video can read through the comments and find uh, additional information to sort of help them. Um, if you got into college without going to uni, let me know, I wanna to talk to you and I'd love to uh, interview you, I guess, and yeah, have a chat and sort of get to know how you got there and what you did. And um, yeah, let's have a chat, guys. So comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later. Forever following you. Just don't get too far. I'll be right